So uh, we've been linked with the now out of contract Jeremy Ngakia. I think that's how you say his name. Um, it was actually um, announced formally today that he will be leaving West Ham at the end of his contract. Now, he's only made five first team appearances for West Ham, but he's been described as a very, very promising talent. And West Ham, obviously, has been described as the, the academy of football and has already produced one Wonder Kid in Grady Diangana. Um But, um, yeah, we've been linked with him. Obviously, Slavin Bilic has links at West Ham, you know, probably knows a bit of the backroom staff and whatever, you know, the people inside the club. Um, I've heard he's very promising. And obviously, um, losing a talent like Nathan Ferguson, I mean, um, going to Crystal Palace and all that, you know, it's, it's, it's a real shame. And I think we planned, actually, to revolve the right-back thing around him. Um, so, you know, we're going to obviously have to start from scratch again um, if we don't fill in with players like uh, Darnell Furlong. Um, but I think he would be a good capture. I've heard he's very, very promising. Obviously, not too many first-team appearances, but, um, you know, I'd give him a chance, absolutely. Um, we'll just have to wait and see, guys. Obviously, um, as the season draws on and the uh, transfer speculation goes up, we'll bring you more details. But, um yeah, we'll um we'll bring you more info when we get it. So um take care guys, talk soon. Alright guys, so we've all heard about Nathan Ferguson not signing the new deal with West Brom. Um it's been confirmed by a couple of sources that he is talking to Crystal Palace. We all knew this was the case before it's even happened in the coming days. Um, you know, there was a twelve million pound move uh, agreed between West Brom and Crystal Palace. And, you know, we very nearly joined them in the last transfer window, but unfortunately he failed a medical and, you know, it all fell through for Ferguson. Look, he always wanted to leave. West Brom apparently offered him a really, really attractive contract. He didn't want to sign it. And you know what, guys? Good riddance to him. You know, if he wants to, if he thinks Crystal Palace is a better move, then, you know, go ahead. Obviously, he's going to be probably guaranteed Premier League football next season with Palace but I just it's really frustrating because you think to yourself why wouldn't you want to sort of finish your career um sorry not finish your career why wouldn't you want to play in the Premier League for your boyhood club I think it's stupid I think his agent has really swayed him to move to Crystal Palace obviously his agent is going to want to you know, get him to get a move away from West Brom because it'll involve money for him. Um, you know, it's sad to see him go because, like Billy Cheevan said, you know, we we had a lot of belief in him. We brought him up from our academy. Um, Billy really believed in him. All the academy staff believed in him. All the players believed in him, um, hoping that he would sign a new deal. But he's completely snubbed us and he'll be joining Crystal Palace and I have heard that he'll be joining them for basically nothing hopefully this isn't the case and it'll go to like a tribunal and uh hopefully you know we'll get something similar what Palace offered the 12 million what we would have got for him you know it's really frustrating you know like Billy just said what is the point of having an academy you know and Nathan Ferguson to us is a lot more valuable than a Premier League club um having someone like him because they can just go out and buy him you know, and like you said, we were a good club. We gave him a chance. We gave him a chance to shine and, you know, it's 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 gone back against us. Same with Louis Barry when he, he went for absolutely peanuts for Barcelona and then Barcelona went and sold him for like two million pounds and gained one point eight million profit. And Barcelona is still struggling to pay us the two hundred thousand. I think it's ridiculous. You know, um I wouldn't be too disheartened about it though, guys, because you know, if someone doesn't want to be there, you just cut all ties with them, get rid of them and get someone in who does want to be at the club. And the person who Dave's just mentioned is meant to be a promising young right back. So hopefully there's a bit of truth in that. Let me know what you think about the Ferguson situation, guys. I think it's disgusting. I think it just shows what footballers are, some footballers are all about. And that's just money and listening to the agents rather than, you know, doing what suits them. Maybe you did want to go, we'll never know. But if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in tomorrow's video against Brentford. Come on, you baggies.